Welcome back. Next, we're going to talk about the rotary table. The rotary table is a very useful tool for automating your scanning process by simply being able to press the button and have your part rotate around and scan the full 360 degrees of your part very quickly and easily. It is highly recommended by us as a company for most applications on uh, small part scanning. So anything 14 inches and down, we recommend using a rotary table. Included with the rotary table, you will have first off the rotary, then you will also have a controller box, which we can see here. Now this controller box will have three cables coming out of it. The first cable will be going directly to the rotary table. The second cable is going to be power. And then the third cable is going to be a USB 2.0 cable that goes straight into your computer. Um, now for ease of setting up, especially if you're using 3.0 cameras, I recommend plugging your 3.0 cameras for your scanner into the 3.0 ports on your computer, which are dignified by having a blue tab on the edge. So if you look at the computer, 2.0 and 1.0 USB inputs have a black tab, whereas the USB inputs, USB 3.0 inputs have a blue tab that you plug into. Uh, so with this particular rotary table, it is 2.0. I recommend just plugging it into the 2.0 port uh, so you don't have any malfunction issues as far as USB 2.0 to 3.0 compatibility that can be an issue on some computers. Once this is all plugged in and ready to go, you should be able to begin using the rotary table immediately with, calibra uh, with the scanning system after doing a calibration. Uh, so, the next thing that you're going to want to do is you'll want to power up your scanner simply by pressing the power button on the top and it'll take a few moments for it to come in. Uh, you'll want to plug in your 3.0 cables from the scanner to the, to the computer and you'll want to plug in your HDMI or VGA cable into the scanner and also into the computer. Now, uh, as a note, you will want to make sure that if it's HDMI, you should just plug it directly into the HDMI port. If it's VGA, you want to be careful that you plug into the VGA input on your projector, not the VGA output. Uh, and then on the back of your computer, you can plug directly into the VGA port uh, on your video card. With higher end video cards, you may have to use a VGA to DVI adapter. Um, if you're buying a computer system from us, most likely you will use a VGA to DVI adapter or you will use an included HDMI cable. Uh, so when you're plugging into your monitor, we will recommend using DVI for your monitor and then the VGA to DVI uh, connector for the scanner or the HDMI input for your scanner. Once this is all plugged in, we can go ahead and fire up our computer, power up the scanner. You can also connect the inputs, whether they're FireWire or USB 3.0, to the cameras themselves. They also have, uh, for the new USB 3.0 cameras, we have screw little uh, thumb screws that screw into the back for the, H or for the FireWire connections. We just simply plug them in. Uh, once we've done that, we can begin calibration.